Hey guys, Ellie with TitB, and today we're going to look at how to jailbreak iOS 4.1 with Ownage Tool 4.1. Since we already looked at Lime Rain, and then uh, in a day or so we're going to look at Green Poison too. But right now we're going to look at Ownage Tool, and I've already installed this. Uh, you'll get it from the Dev Team blog, which I outlined in the post. Um, example. Um, you just select basically whatever device you're using. So I'm in simple mode right now. Expert mode, really what it's gonna give you is a lot more options. You can custom load apps. Um, you can select if you want Winterboard and a bunch of other apps to be pre-installed instead of you having to go into Cydia and manually install them, which is nice, but we're just gonna look at simple mode. And if you need help with expert mode or have questions, uh, check out our jailbreak forums and we'll be happy to help you with those at uh, forum.tipb.com. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna search for an IPSW, and for once, my computer actually found one. Uh, my iTunes kind of has a mind of its own, and it doesn't like to find correct firmware versions or firmware at all, and I end up having to download and custom install it. But as you can see, I have two that pop up, one from my iPhone 4 and one from my iPhone 3GS. Since I'm jailbreaking a 3GS, I'm going to use this one. And the way you can tell, even if it didn't say this, um, the first generation iPhone is iPhone 1, 1. The second generation is iPhone 1, 2, which is the 3G. Uh, the 3GS is 2.1, and the iPhone 4 is 3.1. So if you're downloading firmware bundles from the internet or the link that I provided in the post, just make sure that uh, your iPhone indicator right here is the correct for your, is the correct firmware version for your model. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click continue. Um, it's going to tell you that it's going to create a custom file and you just click yes and it's going to put it on your desktop. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yes here. I don't have a SIM in my phone right now, but we'll see how this is going to play out because I have a micro SIM and I don't feel like putting a SIM adapter in, but yeah, I guess mine would activate normally, though. But if you have an unlocked phone, um, you'd want to select no there, so then it would, um, it would, I guess, what we call hacktivate. Um, it has finished building my custom IPSW. Okay guys, so mine is done. Um, I, perf I purposely did not put my phone in DFU mode and failed so then I could try again because it was I didn't want to coordinate trying to start that with the time that it stopped. So we're going to try this again. It's going to walk us through. So this is what you're going to do. It's going to walk you through. Um, so here we go. Pair to press, home and power button in five seconds. So you're going to hold those down. the power button. Okay, there we go. And mine went into recovery mode. Not, not, well, I think that should be okay. There you go. Um, okay, so this is what you're going to do next. You're going to open iTunes and you're going to control click on restore or alt oh sorry alt option click not restore um, and then you're going to see my custom firmware bundle showed up on my desktop so I'm going to choose that one and it's going to tell you that it's going to erase blah 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 click restore and it's going to do its thing just like an iPhone restore would. So we will pause this again and come back once this is done. All right, guys. Ownage tool finished restoring my phone, and then it should reboot. And if all went well, on the next page, you should have a Cydia icon. And you can launch that. It'll probably take forever to repopulate. Um, but other than that, you are done and jailbroken. Uh, questions, comments, visit the forums, or leave them below. Thanks, guys.